All right, troops, welcome back. Long War of the Chosen. He's got a debuff. Oh, the detection radii has increased. I was just saying to Raging Fury and Chat here that I was this close to playing Rimworld on stream tonight. But with the way the Rimworld campaign is going, it's not like it's it's not like it's less stressful. Hey, modern. Twenty-one months going. Friend. Number one mod in channel, modern. Y'all better put some respect on his name. Rolling out. Just FYI, lads, I've got some leave from work coming up for this weekend. Which sadly doesn't mean more stream. I'm, uh, I'm away on a fishing trip. I'm taking my nephew's cop fishing. I'm really looking forward to. So we'll have a stream uh, Wednesday, Thursday night. Then no stream Friday, Saturday. And then maybe a stream on Sunday. If I'm fit. No need to ask twice. God, Danny, that is pretty much what <laughs> what we're in for. Location I hope not, confirmed. though. I think it said that there's one faceless in this Solid mission. Copy. And we know from our previous experimentation and from Go YouTube for. comments that technically you don't have to take these missions. You can just let them pop I and say something. cancel. Then you lose however many troops were faceless. Just get removed from your haven. The downside is you don't get the full salvage of the corpses. But arguably at this state... You could make the argument that I should just let it pop and not even do it. Rolling. Um, what was I saying? Sorry, I'm half reading chat. Um, we can just pop evac if we need to. Go, go, go. Oh yes, so apparently, and this was confirmed in the YouTube comments, that the effective force level of the advent troops in this mission is half of the normal force Got level. More. But eventually it just gets too hard for these guys to do this mission. So eventually you just gotta start turning them down. So you finished, how did you end up in Bravo? So your bond mate uh, died. Uh, what was her name? Quad Fox. And even if you two weren't bonded, I, I need a high level gunner to, to take over Alpha. Uh, so I didn't want to break up, I couldn't break up the bond of the gunner plus ranger from Bravo team. But as, as I was saying separately, I, th I think I... Wait, you're not, you're not the ranger. The, did the grenadier die as well? Wait, that's not right. You shouldn't be Bravo. That's not you, it's... Hang on. It's the sharpshooter and the gunner. I think I incorrectly moved you then. Who's the... The, the alpha team grenadier is Pyrian Flex, who's the secondary... Yeah, no, you should still be an alpha. Hang on, we'll check after this mission. I think I just messed that up. But I was very tired at the end of the last stream. Now. Well, that's good then. I mean, honestly, you can make an argument for letting you sit in Bravo anyway, because Bravo and Alpha are, are pretty much Overwatch. about equal, and uh, the Bravo Ranger and Grenadier, which is, um, I forget the Grenadier, but the, 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 the Ranger is Jensen. They bonded already, and Jensen is damn near your equal as a Ranger. I think it is time to go loud. Understood. Moving out. Patricia Martinez. I think open up with a grenade. Orders confirmed. On the Although who has the lowest accuracy? That would be Katia Rivera. So she'll open up. Ooh. Rapid fire to essentially execute whoever has the most hit points. I think that's the play. Got it covered. Eyes on the prize. If the first shot misses. Uh, okay, no, that's slightly different to the gunner's ability. There's no, if first shot misses, no second shot. 11 hit points on the advanced trooper. But that advanced trooper is technically sitting in cover, isn't he? 79, 84, but 79 is still very much doable. Um, if I'm only going to do that, let's get a little closer. Although that would make it still low cover. 
confirmed. Look, a six percent more likely to hit from getting closer. I definitely got that one. Tech shod. What worries me is that is a rocketeer. Oh, I can still move, that's right. And I've just got two shotguns to finish him off. And I truly don't want to. Oh, he's out in the open. Okay, that changes absolutely everything. We can just sneak in there and hit him. But what are the chances of aggroing the other pod? It's pretty big, actually. He took it, what a beast. What's up, Ruffle? I'm trusting you here. So what are the hit chances if I'm from here for Cesar Garcia? And Takanosis indeed, he can still shoot, but I think let's put him down. That, that leaves him out in the open, which is if the other pod walks into us now, like this, they could take uh, yellow yellow reaction shots. Ugh, those fa labio facial folds. Speaking of mods for this game, why has no one made a uh, Zoidberg mod for the facelift where they have the little, little mouth testicles? Let's kill one up front. It said just one, but he has a straight up pot of three, so. I'm ready. I don't get to use the phrase, you're bad and you should feel bad often enough. I think we should see this. I got it, right? Okay, so we've got some shotties. 43, try it. Nailed it. I agree. Uh, we want probably 8 or 10 chameleon suits because they do give extra hit points. But they are they're 50 quid each, so that's expensive. I mean, I will want them eventually. We'll, we'll get there eventually. Yeah, I want to find out who's giving us our intel about the enemy numbers because they need to be fired. If you say so. And that would be my expectation, MAL. Yes, correct. Because you'll notice these are the stronger variant. So I'm guessing the ones that are civilians uh, are the weaker variant. I forgot to call in the evac. This music is so good. The old invisible faceless, eh? A classic. Maybe this is the stronger variant. The ones that are invisible. I definitely got that one. I want a birth barrels just because it's fun. Down you go, big boy. Area secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. 
a, ref a, a, ref a refreshingly successful mission. Years of peace and so today, as I was in a work meeting, listening to the failure to apply uh, Swaziland law in the... Uh, it's boring. I was losing the will to live in a work meeting. And I was thinking that... Uh, in the last couple of episodes, I was talking about how we've kind of given up on doing the headquarters assault in Western Asia. Just because the strength level is so high. And we were going to commit to New India to try to liberate New India ASAP. But we don't know what the Doom Counter is doing. And we might not even have the time to do New India, even if we unlock it as, as quick as it's possible to unlock it. So what that means is, I think maybe I should get Alpha Squad together again and just have them infiltrate. I mean, if it means we have to kill 50 odd, we're just going to have to do it. It's, it's you know, it's, it's to make sure that the, the campaign actually happens. It's, it's not impossible. We would just have to aggro a pod. Each pod would be between eight to 10 aliens. Uh, aggro a pod, sprint back with everyone, sprint back for two turns and have them just dribble into Overwatch, hopefully. We'll take more damage that way because a lot of enemies will be able to move into just the one square uh, right before we can actually overwatch them. But it is doable. It'll be incredibly difficult, but it will be doable. And there's no telling how long it'll take to get the mission that we need here in New India. New India is still the one that is closest, though. West Asia, New India, yeah. Absolutely. Tech analysis is going to help a lot. But only does so much, though, because the enemies on their next turn can stand out in the open and shoot, or they can move to cover. So, Alpha is out for another 15 days. Oh yeah, MEL, sorry, you are, you are still in Alpha, as you can see. The change we made was we, 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 we bumped uh, Kakabilo and uh, Osiris up to Alpha. And then uh, it was Jensen, no it wasn't Jensen, it was Booz Martin who got bumped down. Now I've got two gunners busy training. The Bravo officer. Bravo's officer is the Grenadier, just Davies. Now please tell me Davies has trial by fire. I took jammer on him, damn. Uh, one of these officers I'm pretty sure took trial by fire. So P Flex has incoming Oscar Mike Command Range 2 Buster Nut, not an officer yet. Okay, jammer. What about the specialists? So the Hulkster has Collector Jammer. Criddle Fritz, Collector, yep, Elite Discipline. That's the only two specialists we have? Yeesh. Okay, yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Okay, yes, so so PFLAX is actually going to have um, Trial by Fire. So if PFLAX is the Alpha Squad Grenadier, then I need to swap him out with Bravo's Grenadier. Which means, so that, that sorry, MAL, that was the reasoning as to why I was going to bump you to Bravo. So that I can have an officer in Bravo Squad that can have trial by fire or even actually charlie but i mean the only person who will benefit would be jawara and the new gunner lad hmm i mean jensen is 87 at task sergeant you are 97 at gunnery sergeant i don't know i suppose i don't have to change these don't have to change the actual squad allocations because I'm not always going to be sending Alpha out uh, together entirely. Like if I send six or seven of Alpha Squad out, we can leave PFLAX behind and he can go out, he can go out with uh, whoever is below Sergeant. Bear in mind we have two recruits training as gunners. Because we need to do some, we need to do a spot of power leveling on those gunners. Setting 
course for the Indian Regional Zone. I love coffee. This is a um, Guatemalan medium roast that I've got here. Uh, what would this be if we boost it? Because if this is even remotely doable... So... It's full salvage. So it's worth spending the intel. But what's the intel? We're at 51. Uh, it would stop strength from going up, which I think we need to, we need to make sure we try and do that. We need to pull this off. So three of us would be up against seven to nine. I want to see. I want to do ten to twelve. Boosted. How many would we get then? And the Haven Advisor doesn't actually take part yet, does it? So let's pull the Haven Advisor out. Let's pull Miss Rahi, the Skirmisher, and the Reaper. Let's pull them out because they are amazing. So we're going to go Alpha, but they're tied though, we can't, so Bravo, plus Raven, plus Mobility Woods, makes it 13 to 15. As long as I have a sharpshooter here, this is doable. The Assault Mishinobi is actually less useful, we will, and they are tired in any event. Everyone's friggin' tired, this is crazy. So it's only the exile who's not tired. Okay, in that case, let's pull all the Haven advisors and see what that means for us. We will reallocate the Haven advisors. At the end of the month, uh, I need to start make. I need to make sure that I buy um, data pads. We need intel now. Okay, so the rock can go. Reaper can go. Who's Martin? And I, I suspect that the higher level they are, the, 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 the quicker they become tired. That's what I think is up here. Ranger, Reaper, Sharpshooter. Four of us versus 10 to 12. Five of us versus 13 to 15. I think this is oh, this is the combo I think and here we can give these lads whatever they want uh, we can even go full spider suits because we're only gonna be infiltrating for like five days so we saw how strong the Templar was on that last um, supply convoy mission stasis vest alloy plating overdrive No sidearm, that's fine. Alpha sniper, spider suit, hollow two. AP or talon? I think I want to go talon because there is a laser sight on there, isn't there? Advanced auto loader. Yeah, elite laser sight. Yeah, his aim is amazing. <clears throat> Medkits. Medkits are needed. Although they can heal up nine from the stasis fists. Beauty of the stasis fist. Don't well, either of you two have extra medkits? Something crazy like that? No.
As you can see, I'm expecting to crit quite hard. Uh, Alpha Ranger. Spider Suit 14. I could go EXO and EXO, but we're just not taking any Boom Boom with this mission. We have two Claymores and a remote start. That'll have to do. Elite. Elite Expanded. No elite hair trigger there. Advanced laser. How about an elite laser? We could also try throwing some suppressors and see how close we are. We would need, I think, 125 to get that down to 10 to, 10 to 12, which I don't think is going to happen. Nah, it's not going to happen. Laser sight. Expanded mag, hair trigger. Well, the nice thing is these missions are not time sensitive. So we can aggro one pod and pull back. This will be like a miniature version of the tactics we're going to have to employ when we take on that big scary black site. So it could be a good dry run in, the, in, in that respect. Free flashbang. Hard target, will to survive, steady hands. It's just you, you just you, you never turn down a, f a free flat free flashbang. This is a scary mission, but we need this to keep the strength level where it is. So I need the next liberation mission to pop. Here we go, and I've got to boost this as well. This has to then... Oh, fuck's sake. Um, now no one's available. They're all tired. I'm just going to have to send them out tired. Mm, I don't know about that, Lascaris. Maybe. Yeah, we at least have a very good specialist on this mission. This would have to pop before the other one, because I would need the intel back. I'm pretty sure it will. Well, Charlie has to be left forgotten at this point, because they're also underleveled. They're, they're pretty much unusable. Captain Grenadier, okay. I think we're going to have to, though, just send out the tired lads. Like, if I take out... These are sergeants. They're really low level. Sealed start, destroy relay in a small town. Booster to 7 to 9, 4 of us versus 13 to 19. 5 of us versus 10 to 12. The thing is, I, I need a mission that isn't terrifying to feel that I can actually send the uh, Charlie squad out. And we just can't. med kits, fail safe, that's nice. Predator armor. Man, at the end of the month, I really need to um, build the improved swords because the, the sword, mo the sword mark two is at this point like badly out of date. I should probably send this. I should, should I send the site up on this mission. It's going to be thirteen to fifteen then. Boosted one, two, three, four, five, six. Relay destruction in a small town. The sharpshooter and the gunner need to come along. I need that damage. Arguably, I could leave the shinobi behind, but mm, no.
Got to leave the sail behind. I mean, stasis is huge. It buys us more time, but I don't know. Just don't know. So stasis is so good though. Stasis plus two ice grenades, we can do 13 to 15. I wish that mag rifle was a coil rifle. Is this the weakness in the 6 to 11 damage? It's not that bad. I do hate to injure these guys by sending them out all they're tired, but... I mean, e even if they get the tired debuff and they become injured, they will be back in action uh, before the uh, attack on the headquarters, so... I don't know. You may as well take a shotgun, your aim sucks anyway. Uh, yeah, they have less will now, and then if you send them out in a mission while they're tired, they come back as injured. I think it's like 9 to 13 days. But then that number, the 9 to 13 days, gets lowered by the fact that we have... Uh, it should be like a week that they're out for. Operation Earthly Skies, destroy the relay. So Earthly Skies has to pop before that to stop the reinforcements mission. Otherwise, I can't boost this one. Sky Ranger deployed. In position to drop. So, Screaming Eagles, four days, 23. Three days, 17. Fuck's sake. Well, that's... 25 intel to boost. Okay, we're okay. We're all right. We'll have just enough. Setting course for the I'm gonna go scan in New Indonesia, help with the recruiting there. quickly do this with what was it with screaming eagles and then hopefully no one gets all oh, the guys are all tired are gonna, all gonna come back injured <sighs> i suppose we send out charlie and the people who aren't tired means a very weak, weak squad. So if we can get through this by some miracle without anyone getting wounded, then we can still quickly go re-infiltrate that uh, liberation mission. Look, it's only a destroy the relay mission, so if we play it super defensively, we can just get evac down. Hell, if, we, if I sneak up my people right onto it, get evac down, just fight like hell, destroy it, and then get out. Yeah, indeed, Zimong, indeed. Okay, do we have a technical? We do.
<laughs> the old preset kill limit. I'll never see it coming. Uh, Zap Renigan, well, he's a gunner, so he's not he's not meant for officer duties then. It's grenadiers and specialists in this campaign that are going to be officers. This aim makes me sad. I could just give someone who doesn't have a great kill potential a skulljack like the psyop it's almost a guaranteed kill like he doesn't have any hack but that's fine it's just that he gets the kill he'll take the feedback damage though is there a coil gun available here yes on the specialist and the grenadier that's not good His aim was better. Oof, only seven. Seven plus three, that's no good. But ten plus three now. It's better. Yeah, ten plus three is like the minimum hit points we dare go out with. I could give them shard guns. But this is a grenadier. We'll look at these weapons in a sec. Maybe give them shotguns if their aim is so crap. Oh, they've got nine already, no. Twelve mobility is the minimum. Cause explosive grenades do additional damage, not worth it yet. So, all launch grenades. Why couldn't this be a grenadier? As you can see, I'm taking any abilities that are vaguely useful, I just need whatever I can get here. Mag rifle on the technical, 16 mobility. That coil shotgun needs to get taken out. Who would use it then? You would. I mean, that 63 crap aim will get offset by the alpha shot here, so... Okay, so Operation Scar Prince. Protect the data tap. These protect the data tap missions are nasty. Oh, so this is going to be fucking brutal. I'm afraid. Well, on the plus side, we have a decent hacker. Criddle Fritz has 146 hack, oil rifle, a field medic, and fail safe, so no negative effects. Med protocol, a decent shinobi, a decent grenadier. Well, we, we have a lot of card control between stasis and frost bombs. YouTube lads, I see it's coming up on 35 minutes. Let's cut the episode there, because if I do another whole mission, it's going to be over an hour. Uh, yep. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe, all that shit. And see you in the next episode for Operation Sky Prince.